dependence of man on plants. 1. Man consumes plants or parts of various plants as food. Maize, wheat, rice, bajra and jowar are the cereals which are used by man. 2. Vegetables like pea, potato, jackfruit, onion, tomato, carrot, ladyfinger, radish, cabbage are eaten by man. 3. Apple, grape, banana, orange, mango, sweet lime, custard apple, pineapple are the fruits utilized by the man. 4. We get furniture, wood, from shisham, dhyodar, teak and sal. We also get veneers from plants by which boxes, baskets and door panels are made. 5. Some plants like mustard, sunflower, sandal, eucalyptus and jasmine give us oil. 6. Tea, coffee and cocoa we get from plants. 7. Different types of medicines are made by the different parts of the plants. 8. Different antibiotics like streptomycin, chloromycin and teramycin are obtained from different bacteria. 9. Penicillin and ergot is prepared by fungus. 10. Field mushroom is cooked to supply vitamin B complex and vitamin C. 11. Besides food requirements, human beings get many other products from plants such as cotton, jute, hemp, rubber, paper. 12. We depend on plants for the most important thing, that is, oxygen for the respiration. Dependence of plants on animals. Plants depend on animals for carbon dioxide. Plants need carbon dioxide for manufacturing their food by photosynthesis. Animals release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through respiration. Human activities like burning of wood, coal, petrol, gas, etc. also releases carbon dioxide into the air. Plants depend on animals for pollination. Bees, wasps, butterflies and moths visit flowers for collecting nectar. In this act, they help in the transfer of pollen from one flower to another. For attracting insects, plants have colorful and scented flowers. Plants depend on animals for seed dispersal. Some animals feed on fruits and deposit seeds at different places. Seeds of some plants cling to the body of animals and are carried away to new places. This helps in the dispersal of seeds. Plant products for human use some plant products for human use are as follows. Food Human beings get food from plants as cereals, pulses, vegetables, fruits, sugars, dry fruits, 
oil seeds, etc. Fibers Natural fibers like cotton and jute are obtained from plants. Spices Cardamom, that is elaichi, clove, that is long, pepper or kali mirch, turmeric or haldi, cinnamon, dalcini, coriander or dhania, jeera, ajwain, hing, etc. Of all plant products. Wood Firewood Timber Plywood Pulp for paper, etc. are obtained from plants. Tea and coffee These are used as stimulants because they contain caffeine. Tea is obtained from the tea leaves. Coffee powder is prepared from dry seeds of coffee plant. Medicines Several Ayurvedic and homeopathic medicines are obtained from plants like neem, eucalyptus, amla, tulsi, ginger, haldi, onion, garlic, etc. Antibiotics are obtained from certain fungi. Quinine, which is used to cure malaria, is obtained from the bark of cinchona tree. Chemicals Microbes are used to produce vinegar, alcohol and acetic acid. Non-wood products Human beings also get non-wood products like lark, dyes, cane, bamboo, grasses fodder, beedy leaves, gums, raisin, rubber, etc. from plants. Animal products for human use. Humans obtain food and clothing from animals. Animals are also used for transport and recreation. Food. Cows and buffaloes provide us milk. Milk is used in the preparation of cheese, butter, curd, and sweets. Sheep, goat, pig, poultry, and fish provide meat. The rearing of pigs is called piggery, and breeding of hens, ducks, turkey, geese, and domestic fowl is called poultry farming. The production and management of fishes is known as pisciculture. Honey bees provide us honey. It is a good source of nutrients. Culturing honey bees for commercial production of honey is called apiculture. Fiber Sheep and goat provide us wool for making woolen clothes. Silk. Silk is obtained from the cocoons of silkworm. The rearing of silkworm for obtaining silk is called sericulture. Animal dung. It is used in gober gas production, for preparing dung cakes, and as field manure. Conservation of ecosystem. Risk to ecosystem With the increased industrialization and scientific approach to our life, 
the natural resources and rich natural heritage which were being preserved for centuries have begun dwindling greatly. Any kind of imbalance in nature results into severe danger to our ecosystem. Its treatment with nature has posed today many serious challenges and problems like climate change, vector-borne diseases, decay in wildlife and its resources, and food and water shortage. Exploitation of natural resources prevalent all over the world has erupted into severe ecological degradation which is definitely the biggest threat to proper functioning of our ecosystem. Need to Restore and Conservation of Ecosystem Restoring an ecosystem by establishing the fine balance between organisms and environment is the best way that, being a responsible human, we can do. Until and unless the steps to preserve the decaying charm of our ecosystem are not initiated, our ecosystem is not going to support us having a better and healthy environment. There is an absolute need today to assist nature by not disturbing its integrity and help it gaining its lost delicacy. By protecting our native natural resources like wildlife, rivers, forests, etc., one can contribute greatly in the preservation of our ecosystem. Radical changes have to be made in our thoughts to save and accumulate the natural resources, the very root of our life.